Hello, this is Adam Revere, and in this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to utilize your Apple Loops from an external hard drive. And what we need to start off is by opening up Logic Pro. Once you have that open, go ahead and open up your Loops browser. And you can do that by going to the upper right hand corner of your Arrange window, click on Media. And from here, click on the Loops tab if it isn't already open and highlighted. And with that open now, we need, to op we need to go to our external hard drive. So I'm going to go to our Finder, open up a new window. I'm going to go to my external hard drive. Go to the folder that contains all my Apple Loops. The folder structure that I have is the exact same that I originally installed with Logic Studio into my computer. And this is just what I copied over from my computer internal hard drive into my external hard drive. Just for organization's sake. So all you need to do, click the folder that has all your Apple Loops. Drag it over to the Loops browser. Let go. There will be an alert from Logic if you have alerts enabled. In either case, go back to Logic, and the window will be presented to you, letting you know that you can copy all those loops to a folder in your computer, which we don't want to do. We want to utilize and save space, and or rather utilize our external hard drive to save space in our internal hard drive. So we choose current location. So go ahead and click on current location. I'm going to bypass that since I already have this installed and recognized. So I'm going to hit cancel, but you go ahead and hit current location. And once you do that, you're going to see another window pop up and do a little dance for you, showing that Logic is now communicating with your external hard drive. So that way it can keep its own structure and communication you know, all straight up. Go to the loops library. Once that is, once all those loops are installed, which may take a few minutes, but what you're going to do on view in your loops browser, go to the name of the folder that has all those loops, click on it. Once that is all completed, I'm just going to show you the loops by just clicking all. And there you have it. All the loops, or all the Apple loops that exist from the installation, all placed and my external hard drive that I can click and use whenever I wish without the hassle of having 20 gigs of hard drive space gone from my internal hard drive. 